Yo, 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 everyone, welcome to another vlog. So today's vlog is going to be the most special car vlog you have ever seen on my channel. And that's a lot coming from me because I go to a lot of car events. This event in particular is gonna be way different than any other one you've seen because it is the biggest car event that takes place here in Dubai with over 200 cars worth over 500 million dirhams. So it's gonna be something really, really spectacular. I can't wait to get there to show you guys. And yeah, for now I'm gonna unwrap our Lamborghini because we have actually been invited to go, as you can tell. So yeah, should be amazing. Let's get headed and take off the cover to this bad boy. So my sister's actually kind of late right now, so I have to do this all by myself. Oh, here's the bad boy. Here is the bad boy. Uncovered and ready to go. Wow. Not bad at all for me. Lana is finally downstairs now. We can get headed and go. It's go time, boys. So we just made it over here to the event, guys, and there's a ton of cars. I see Paganis, Bugattis, even an Aston Martin Vulcan, which a lot of you won't even know what it is. So let's get straight into the cars. And yeah, there's tons of them. Starting off strong, we have a gorgeous blue Pagani over here. And straight next to this bad boy, we have a P1, a McLaren P1 now. This is the Aston Martin Vulcan. Now, these cars are extremely exclusive and powerful. We are very lucky to have this at the event today, and it is really, really gorgeous. I don't know what they've put it on. It looks like they've been towing it. If you can see, there's like wheels under it. Check out this Pagani, boys. This is not a regular Pagani. I don't even know what this is, but it's fully carbon fiber. We have the blue carbon fiber body. This bad boy looks ridiculous. It's a spider as well. It? It's got no roof. It's a Pagani, but I don't even know which one. I'm not the best with my name. That's what the viewers have Yeah, to I know. The viewers have to decide, but it yeah. looks gorgeous. Just, that's all I can say and let's move on to the Bugattis now so there's actually three Bugattis right here guys and we've got two fully carbon fiber ones starting off with this blue carbon fiber Bugatti which looks absolutely gorgeous I'm not sure how well the colors are coming through for you guys but behind my sister over there we also have a gray carbon fiber one and right next to these two Bugattis, we have a carbon fiber Pagani. Guys, the cars over here are amazing. We even have a 6x6 Mercedes. You're not always going to see three Bugattis lined up back to back, especially two carbon fiber Bugattis. So this is in itself an amazing moment. They're actually opening up the bonnet to the Vulcan. Wow. Look at how this bad boy opens up. So the doors are up on the Pagani. How are you doing, my man? Very good. Nice to see you. Everything is perfect. Some amazing cars. So except from all those Bugattis and Paganis, we actually have a nice selection of other cars. The Murcielago. We have the Dodge Viper SR something. I'm so bad at my American cars like this, but I know this is a very rare car. The Porsches, the Lamborghinis. It's just a whole parking lot of cars. There's cars over there getting revved, you can hear. <laughs> that is one of the craziest exhaust systems I've heard. <laughs> Look at the smoke coming out of this bad boy. So look what showed up guys, a LaFerrari. Same one I recorded last time. Absolute gorgeous car. Look at the front of this bad boy. This thing is so elegant. Scaring off everybody. <laughs> By the way guys, check out this watch. It's actually one of my friends. It's one off 500 I think. <laughs> or it's like the LaFerrari pretty much and how rare it is. So pretty, pretty awesome stuff over here. The doors of this Pagani are up and you can actually see the interior of this thing which just looks stunning. Full red leather which is my favorite type of interior. Doors up. I think these bad boys are actually going. I think they were just here for some photos. We hope that you make the best enjoyment that you can today. Today we reached an, uh, a record of 581 million dirhams worth of cars at the back. So please enjoy the day. Thank you again and enjoy. One second. 
It is officially go time now, boys. Everybody is getting ready to leave. This is where the main stuff starts going down. We got the P1, we got the Pagani over there. All these bad boys are just starting up. P1 is revving right here. Madness is going down. Wow. Over 200 sports cars right here. And. Oh my god, <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous right now. The Bugatti's heading out. Look at these bad boys. SLR followed by an amazing. Woo! Gorgeous fleet of cars. Gorgeous fleet. An amazing silver and blue Bugatti over here. The Camo Aventador. Amazing stuff. A lot of these cars are extremely famous cars you see on Instagram because of their exclusivity, but it really is something that... It is just the guy. Did you see that? Are you ready? Good luck everybody because you're about to go for the ride of your life right now. Oh my god. Have you seen the amount of cars here? I've never been to an event this big and full of supercars like these on Bugattis, Bugattis, Lamborghinis are just like the extras today. Like oh, yeah, it's on the baby side of things. But it's getting really hectic out here. I can't even speak, there's so much revving going on. It is absolutely flooded with supercars. Here they are, guys. Bugatti has just turned up. We got the Ferraris over here. We found the rest of them. I thought while we were here, why not come and show you the Bugatti that showed up with us? I think this one is like a really famous one on Instagram. <laughs> that was a great way to just completely deafen my ear. Wow. All right, LaFerrari is there now. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm just trying to point out everything going by at the moment because I think all the cars are coming from that way, guys, like from all the way back there because we kind of took a U-turn ahead. Bugatti over there, as you can see. The road is flooded with supercars. <laughs> I made 
a huge mistake in the vlog guys this Pagani is one of one so forgive me for that it just makes it much more special everybody's here to fill up some petrol as you can see these cars drink their petrol so it's going to be a good day for this petrol station that we've stopped at because you know everybody's going to be pumping their gas here it's not every day you see a LaFerrari at the petrol station guys look at this bad boy so I'm actually going for a ride in the LaFerrari right now so this should be fun okay so right now I'm actually in the LaFerrari guys yes the LaFerrari and we're going for a ride so, super awesome we just popped some gas and these cars are ready to go look to our right we actually have people on quad bikes in the sand wow <laughs> Bugatti versus LaFerrari in these cars guys you seriously <laughs> you seriously feel the power of these vehicles especially the LaFerrari this car is insane insane it's my first ride in one actually so it's really cool to feel it like uh, I can't even explain it in words how I'm feeling right now we're in the downtown boulevard area with the LaFerrari all the cars are next to us there's actually lots of bikes as well we just made it to the Burj Khalifa. Spectacular view of this building. And they have the war show going on. So it's really, really cool. I've never been here when the war show has been going on at night. So that's a really, really cool thing to see. Wow. Every time you see this building, it looks fabulous. But yeah. As you just saw, we just arrived at the Burj Khalifa. My sister in her car. And I was in the LaFerrari. But wow, this building. I just, every time I come here, I can't fathom how tall it is it's just ridiculous but we have the LaFerrari here gorgeous gorgeous thing honor to sit in it wow wow look at it anyways guys it was an absolutely amazing experience with this car today can't believe the drive but yeah now I think we're gonna have lunch in the Burj Khalifa we're actually gonna go see like how it looks from up somewhere there so it should be really really cool and yeah I'm just, I'm just super pumped today I'm excited the event turned out dope yeah so check out this entrance everybody wow and the roof it's like you know that drum thing where you like it's like that part of the drum i don't know what you call it but it looks really cool anyways let's get in amazing lounge over here wow look at this it's like a water table that is really cool anyways we're actually heading inside through here and we need a pass so let's go get it by the way i just figured out what this is for this place over here it's called the world voices and basically there's drops of water dropping on these to make like these sounds and it's supposed to represent like all the voices from around the world and it's really cool i did not know that so can you guys hear that like once in a while it hits the metal things the water droplets are hitting it and making that noise really really cool i've actually never been in here and it looks really, really cool and elegant. And I think each of these elevators take you to specific floors. So we're going in this one. Okay, so look at the residential hallways they have over here. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're actually going to check out the view from one of our friend's places who lives here. So it's gonna be really, really awesome. They've actually got like security doors that close. So I need to go past this one as well. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> But yeah, each of these doors close and you can't open them once you go past them with a pass. So it's really like securitized and everything. So the show just started, guys. Look at this view. Let me stick my camera. And it looks amazing. Whoa. Wow. Look at that view. That's incredible. This looks so much better. From yeah, I know. Here. From up here, it looks gorgeous. That, that is cool. really cool. That is really cool. Oh my goodness. It's like a quick line. It's like a snake going I around no it. I had no idea they had that pattern before. So we're actually 
actually going to go up the Burj Khalifa over 100 floors and this elevator we're going to take right now is super super quick so let's get in and your ears start popping like it's that fast guys all right you can only go to the 123rd floor from these yeah. lifts so i think it was made to be really really fast check this out everybody this is the whole of dubai you can see from here absolutely marvelous like that is a skyscraper and it looks tiny from up here wow <laughs> i'm scared of height. i'm just gonna back off you know <laughs> I do trust this building, but a hundred, ah, it's just amazing. Anyways, we're doing like a little tour of the Burj Khalifa at the moment, which is the tallest building. Really cool to see these places. We've come over to this library they have on the 123rd floor, as you can see my sister going through some of the books. And again, we have the vision of the whole of Dubai beneath us. like. This is just outrageous, it's just amazing. Like if you think about it, how they built this tower and it's just so high, it's just amazing. And to have like a little library up here where you can read and look over Dubai is just. And this is a lounge they have on the 123rd floor, which is really, really cool. You can go there and eat as you can see, or you can just come sit and chill. What are you doing? <laughs> Checking yourself in the mirror. <laughs> 123 floors up. I don't think anybody can see you. I'm up right now because I'm up right now outside the Armani restaurant right now They have these guys playing these Really cool <laughs> Anyways, let's head over to the restaurant. So you know that entrance we come by with all of the water I'm actually behind all of the water. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about We enter with our cars from there and this is what we see but now I'm behind, like I'm behind all the water you normally see, so that's pretty cool. My sister's up there talking on the phone. What's up, yoga squad for life? <laughs> oh wow, I love nature and stuff like this is just so cool. Whoa, look at that. Did you catch that? Woo! <laughs> it's like a Mexican flag. Rise, my son, <laughs> rise. That is epic. Anyways guys, that is a wrap for today. It's super, super late. We're gonna head off home. Let's say goodbye to the Burj Khalifa for now. We'll be back, I'm sure of that, because we always end up coming here and it's always really, really nice. But look at the time right now. It's 17 minutes past 12, so it's really, really late. We're gonna head off home slowly and maybe have a meal because we tried to eat over here with one of our friends but the restaurants were closed. They closed at 11 apparently. So yeah, let's go have a meal, head off home and just relax. It's been a really long day as you can tell. I just got home and I'm really, really tired. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here, but I still can't believe that I was in a LaFerrari today for a ride, which was so, so awesome. So can't thank the owner enough, really awesome dude. And yeah, I'm just gonna end it here because I need to get some sleep right now and get some rest. My grandma's actually leaving tomorrow, so yeah, I'm gonna drop her off at the airport. We'll say our final goodbyes and stuff like that. Anyway, stay awesome, everybody. I love you all. Yalla yolo. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.